Hey Royal Family, thank you for choosing the front row and today I'm doing something very different. I decided that I'm so tired of filming in the room so I thought I'd just take a nice change of scenery. The sun is gleaming in KwaZulu Natal today. If you hear some background noises that's just the freeway. It's very busy and I'm filming during the day so I thought I'll just talk about uh, some things that I thought was really really important to me. We're talking about how to to make time for the things you love. If that's something that you are quite interested in finding out, then this is the channel for you. If you haven't by now, click that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. This is a video about wisdom and making your life a little bit better with the tricks and tips that I learn from daily life. So if you resonate with it, continue watching. family it's Rowanna Mudley on the front row today we're talking about how to make time for the things you love now life can get the better of you life can be so daunting it can really really make it impossible to move forward and sometimes we get so sucked into the busyness of life that we forget to enjoy the things that we love whether it is spending time with your family whether it is dancing whether it is singing whether it's painting gardening reading writing whatever the thing is that you love to do and you find that gosh i don't think i have the time to do this well then this video may be very very helpful for you i thought it was necessary to really talk about how i make time to do the things that i love a lot of people have asked me rowena how the hell do you do so many things and the truth of the matter is i actually don't do a lot of things i just make time during the week to just take care of certain aspects and at the end of the month i realize that i do a whole bunch of things and it looks like my diary has been really taken care of so I thought it was really nice for me to share some of the things that work for me I mean look I would be lying if I said that it is really really easy I would be lying if I said that it doesn't take some sort of energy out of me but at the end of the day I feel happier when I am productive I feel happier when I'm doing things that I love and if I'm not doing the things that I love I do do feel that I am more agitated I feel less connected with my family and the people that I love because I'm just not doing the things that I love so I try to make it fun for myself but I also try to make it as structured as possible but I'm only human and I never ever get it right a hundred percent but if I work towards it every day then I try and get a lot of things done as much as I can because sometimes it can be overwhelming. So today I just want to talk about five things you can do to plan your life a little bit better and to just try and make yourself feel a little bit happier because if you're doing the things that you love you're going to start to feel happier and at the end of the day that is what matters right the first thing you want to do is you want to plan your week the moment i started planning my week and having a diary and just jotting it down and knowing exactly what my monday is going to look like through to friday even my saturdays what's it going to look like it gave me peace of mind because I have the personality that if I don't write it down or if I don't plan it then I dream about it and I have anxiety and then I can't sleep or I it just becomes too overwhelming for me but once I plan it out and I have a structure okay on Monday I'm going to write on Tuesday I'm going to vlog I'm going to do my live videos on Wednesday I'm doing satsang with my family on Thursday I'm doing family puzzle day or I'm spending movie night with my family or whatever the case is if I say it to myself and I write it down it becomes a little bit better however I will tell you that I don't do it as regularly as I want to but I'm getting to a place that I'm getting better and I want to get 
more structured but I also want my life to be malleable and adapting so that it's not too rigid so I allow things to happen because you know sometimes you could come home from work on certain days and really feel drained so planning my week really really does help me and it does benefit me the the weeks that I don't plan I find it far less productive I'm someone that marinates I can sit and watch a marathons of series on Netflix which is my complete weakness so I try to as best as I can have something diarized in my day because if I don't have anything planned then I'm going to sit in front of the TV so I try to do that and try and plan as much as possible. The next thing that has worked for me is to wake up early or sleep late, whichever works for you. In the past, I used to be more of a nighttime person where I would sleep late. I could sleep as late as three o'clock in the morning and then function throughout the day. But as time is going by, I realized that because my schedule is a little bit different nowadays, it is better for me to wake up earlier and sleep earlier. For me to be more productive, the days that I do wake up at 4 a.m. and I start my day and I get the things done, I have a much more productive day and I feel less anxiety. I feel more accomplished. But on the days that I just like drag myself out of bed, don't follow a routine, just hurry along my day, those are the worst days of my life. So I'm trying my best to get better and to just be a person who is a part of the 4am club but I'm not there yet and every day is a struggle because I used to be a nocturnal person so me changing to becoming a morning person is quite a challenge for me which I which I am trying to accomplish every single day but it really is a game changer and it really changes my vibe but if you're someone that can sleep a little bit later because your day starts later then that's okay too but just spending extra hours sorting out your life and doing the things that make you happy makes such a world of a difference if that is writing if that is gaming if that is spending time with your partner if that's watching a movie or having a pamper session whatever that is it's going to change the way you feel and the way you feel is so important for you to actually flourish in life the next thing that I try to do every single day is to be present so as much as I love planning and I love to put my life together in a structured way I also learned through my experiences is that I forget to be present in that moment and because I'm always thinking about the next thing that I'm gonna get done and sometimes that could be really really disappointing because I want to have such a fruitful life. I want to do all of the things at the same time, but I'm losing sight of what is actually happening at this moment in time. So I try very, very hard to be present. If I'm vlogging right now with you, I'm trying to enjoy this moment and not think about what I have to do next. Um, if I'm sitting down with Shiv, then I'm just trying my best to play robots and cars and just engage myself with him in the games. And if I'm watching a movie with my husband, I'm trying not to be on my phone at the same time. Just trying to be present as much as possible is something that I'm finding to be a challenge, but I am working towards making it better and better. So I think that is definitely uh, has been a game changer for me. The next thing you want to do is you want to prioritize. When you have things planned out, sometimes certain things can not be necessary to do that week or at that time. So it's always important to figure out what is priority. So for me, sometimes I would say to my son, you know what, I'm going to play with you later. And then I get so sucked into work that the hours just go by and then it's time for him to go to bed and I haven't actually played with him. So the thing that I've changed is he is my priority and I'm trying to, to make him a priority on my list. The other things I find that sometimes I get sucked into a movie or I get sucked into my series watching and then I'm like, okay, I haven't really done anything. So if I look at a priority list, I know these are the things that I, I have to accomplish today and the rest of the things I can accomplish tomorrow. It helps me tremendously because sometimes I'm I, my brain is all over the place and I'm thinking about that and I'm thinking about what I need to do do now and sometimes it's just normal for you to feel like oh my gosh what the hell is going on I don't even know what's going on anymore and you feel like 
screw it, I'm not going to do anything. So when you have that kind of vibe, it's important to be like, okay, let's just take it one step at a time. Let's just prioritize. If I need to wake up at 4 a.m., let's get my feet out of the bed. If I need to then um, meditate, let me get into the shower and start meditating. So I take it one step at a time and do the most necessary thing every single time. And it does help. Because eventually at the end of the day, especially on your worst days, on the days that you're really tired, at the end of the day, you're like, oh, I did all of this. I'm so glad that I did. As opposed to, I was so tired, I didn't do anything, I didn't have time. And the final step is, it's okay to do nothing. It really is okay to do nothing. You really don't have to have your time filled up. You really don't have to fill up every single minute of the day, every single hour of the day. And what's nice about prioritizing and planning and really being present in the moment is that sometimes I can lie on my back, look at the stars with my little one or my hubby and just breathe and take in the nothingness of life. And sometimes that's just all that matters. And that also something that really makes you happy and it makes you feel like you're doing something that you love so whatever it is for you whether it is doing nothing painting or really keeping yourself occupied it is important to take the time out it is important to prioritize it is important to plan your week and your days so that you do make time for the things that are important to you and the things that you love and when you make time for yourself and if you make time for the things that you love your life will be happier and to end i just want to share this with you something that my hubby said to me earlier this week is that when you do something difficult your life becomes easier when you do things that are easy your life becomes difficult and that spoke to me and i wanted to share that with you because sometimes we want to always take the easier route in whatever capacity and the easier route is really not the solution. So when your life is jam-packed and you've got a whole bunch of things going on, just know that you are on the right track and you are achieving your dreams because you are worthy and there's no one that can be you and that is your unique selling point. And I hope that these little tips that I use every day helps you the way it helped me and really ignites love and happiness and joy and a fruitful life until the next video please do subscribe and click that notification button if you haven't and please comment below letting me know what else you'd like to chat about i do videos every week i'm trying to be more regular on a monday and thursday but sometimes you know that goes off bear with me here okay bear with me <laughs> and um yeah i guess i'll catch you on the next one keep it royal ciao